Thank you very much. And I too want to be associated with the remarks and welcomed uh, Councillor Sarah Kiley here to the House here this afternoon and her guests. There is a story of anthropologist Margaret Mead answering the question of what she considered to be the first signs of civilization in a culture. Her answer, a femur, a thigh bone, which had been broken and healed. In the animal kingdom, a broken leg signals death. You cannot walk to find food or drink, and you cannot escape from predators. No animal survives a broken leg. The existence of a healed femur meant that someone had taken the time to stay with the injured party, had set and bound the wound, carried them to a safety and tended to them during their recovery. That selflessness and care for others, the sense of community and duty beyond the self, is where civilization starts. Minister, the people being cared for in these nursing homes we're discussing here today are among the most vulnerable in our society. They deserve the highest level of care we can give. I have been speaking with people involved in the private nursing room sector and asked them what the main challenges facing Irish nursing homes are today. Their answers were definite and unanimous. Firstly, the hike in energy crisis is impacting these homes greatly. As one can imagine, a nursing home isn't exactly the type of place where you can just switch off a few machines, and so many of the tips that work for homeowners cannot be applied here. The 10 million euro allocated across the private nursing homes is, I'm afraid, a drop in the bucket when spread across the 500 plus nursing homes that we have in the country. Recruitment is a constant struggle, so many representations have been made to the Department of Justice by industry reps regarding the stringent restrictions on employing healthcare workers and assistance from abroad. I am told that the threshold of 27,000 for a HCA to be allowed into the country is a massive barrier. HCAs will earn this in Dublin, but not outside of it. Could this be examined? Perhaps a lower threshold could be introduced for workers to be employed outside of Dublin. Allah, the Department of Housing's first home scheme. But really, this point of, to a wider issue of salaries. According to an independent review conducted by The Economist for the NIH, the private home sector requires 65 million in funding to bring their healthcare workers' salaries in line with the HSE pay scale. The nursing home sector, like all healthcare sectors, is facing into a tough winter. Primary of all are the concerns is bed capacity. The sector lost 474 beds last year due to the homes shutting down, mainly smaller homes in rural areas. The service has become financially unviable. While lost bed capacity is often made up for a national level by large new bills, these are rarely in the same areas as those which close down, which puts pressures on families and other homes. This lack of bed capacity will have a knock-on effect for our hospitals. Often a hospital patient is approved for a home care package, but there is no capacity to deliver that service as the HSE similarly lacks HCAs. In order to free up a hospital bed, the HSE will contract a nursing home bed as a step down until such a time as a HCA becomes available to make good on their offer of home care. It is very much the case that the feeling on the ground is that this is going to be a particularly tough year. The staff retention crisis is not really that hard to wrap one's head around. It takes a full year of full-time training to complete a necessary QQI in care for the elderly in order to work as a HCA. And in return, most of these workers are getting in the region of 11 to 12 euros an hour. Is this really how much we value this essential work? At the end of the day, HSE nursing homes are getting 60% higher fair deal rates than private ho homes ones are. So can higher wages and pensions, private ones 
want to do that too, but simply can't. The maths doesn't add up. Industry representatives have put it that the fair deal is being unequally managed and is unfit for purpose, and that the vital services being provided by the private nursing homes cannot continue if the state does not offer the necessary support. So a major review is needed, and a major change must be the result of it. So, Minister, I, I wish you well. I, I believe you've been very good in your portfolio. I have no idea what the reshuffle will, will uh, to where it will take you, but I'm sure no matter where you go, you will serve that department very well.